All right, Canes fans, we knew this time was coming. It was only a matter of time before it began, and we were just waiting for the first domino to fall, and it has in fact happened today. The transfer portal mass exodus purge has begun. What's going on, Canes fans? I know this looks a little weird. Your boy Coop is standing up. Uh, I was actually not anticipating making this video. I'm not prepared in any way, but that's okay because this is a very quick and easy video to make. Uh, today, Gilbert Frierson announced that he is leaving the University of Miami and hitting the transfer portal. And I think for most of us, this is absolutely not a surprise. I mean, GB3's playtime you know, uh, continue to be less and less throughout the 2022 season. And it is unfortunate because I feel like that he's a talented dude. And I think that he can actually still go somewhere decent, probably another Power 5 school in 2023, and have a, a pretty good year, honestly. And I wish him nothing but the best of luck. And what I want to do real quick is pull up his official statement. Uh, that way we can take a look at it and see what he had to say about his departure so this is his official twitter page here and this is the statement that he released just a little bit ago so he said being born and raised in miami my only dream was to be a hurricane now i will say mm, that that definitely does suck for him i do believe that that gb3 was all miami hurricane so let's continue I am so grateful for the opportunity to not only play for the University of Miami, but also earn my degree to all at the U. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank my coaches and everyone associated with the program. Most importantly, I want to thank my teammates. The bonds we created in the locker room will last forever. It's the friendships, relationships, and memories that I will treasure more than anything else. With that being said, my time at the University of Miami has come to an end. I will be entering the transfer portal December 5th as a graduate student so I can continue pursuing my dreams. This was a difficult decision, but one I had to make. Thank you to my Hurricane family for all the love and respect you have shown over these past five years. I will forever bleed orange and green. I will always rep the 305. When one door closes another opens i'm looking forward to my next chapter the journey continues and this is one guys where uh, again no matter who it is that hits the portal i am going to wish them well this is a situation where these guys need to do what's most beneficial for them and us as a miami hurricanes team need to do what's most beneficial for us and we all know that that means there is going to be a mass exodus of players leaving this team at the end of the 2022 season uh, so you know again this is just the first of many i am i am anticipating actually maybe 20 plus players leaving we originally said 10 to 15 but it might even be as many as 20 or more and you know i really think that canes fans are okay with this uh and rightfully so they're they're, they're going to be guys that just don't fit you know a lot of these guys didn't sign up to play for this staff so you know maybe they don't fit the scheme you know maybe they don't get along with some of the the coaches you know and it just is what it is so i don't think i don't think you're going to see a lot of butt hurt canes fans over guys hitting the portal this time because we expect it we know it's coming and we actually do feel like it's needed but as we always preach man the best thing to do is to wish these guys the best of luck and move on some of them are gonna hurt a little more than others like i'll just be honest if Jalen knighton hits the portal that's my dog that's my dude right and i see how much potential is there but if he feels like he's not a fit if he feels like he has no future here and he doesn't want to be a cane anymore i wouldn't want him to stay just because right so, man, GB3, I think, will be missed. But it, it was tough for him because uh, the dude was a, uh, is classified as a fifth-year redshirt junior. So I think that he'll only have one more year that he can go to another team and try to, you know, pad his stats for the NFL. 
but it was tough for him because he kind of got stuck in that hybrid position, right? Like he's listed on the website as a defensive back, uh, but then he, with Manny, they sw- swapped things up, and it just, the dude really never had a, a really good opportunity to shine here at Miami. It's really tough to develop a guy, I think, whenever you're kind of tossing him around like that. So again, I do think that Gilbert Frierson will be successful at another school and probably another Power 5 school, just my opinion. I think the dude was a four-star whenever he came into Miami. Uh, He's an athlete, a a baller, and again, I think he'll do well. But that's really all this video is, guys. I, I wanted to be able to make like one big chunk video, like, hey, these five players left or these 10 players left. Uh, but this was kind of the first one that's going to get things started, right? And what we'll do is it might be player to player we do videos. It might be chunks. I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, these guys are Miami Hurricanes until they say that they're not any longer. So I'm not on here hoping or wishing that any certain guys transfer or any nonsense like that. That, that That's not what I'm about, man. So uh, just expect many, many more to come very soon. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you bummed losing GB3? Do you think it was the right move from him? Do you think it was the wrong move? Where do you think he goes? Uh, obviously, there are some ties with some other coaches. I mean, I don't think uh, people are probably going to want to say Penn State to go play with Manny, but I kind of feel like that, you know, he, he might not want anything to do with that. I'm just being honest, even if he was a fan of Manny. Uh, maybe some other SEC school, possibly? Uh, again, there are some other previous coaches. Maybe he could go somewhere like Mizzou. Maybe he could go... There's going to be some options for GB3, right? But hey, man, that's it for me. Remember, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.